Today, we talk about... <laughs> yeah, well, this just brought a girl to an open mic, dude. Because I, I have the power. The funny is... I brought another girl to a night. Let's go fuck yourself. So, <laughs> the funniest part was he was there with the girl while there was another dude, a comic we never seen before. Yeah. I didn't even know he was a guy. I thought, I, I, thought was, was normal guy. I thought there were audience members. <laughs> a guy and a girl, and like, I guess... I left early, like, I, I did a joke, like, to the girl, I was like, hey, is that funny? I don't know, she, she, like, was laughing, but I heard, was it you who no, told me? it was that, Derek who went, he said, is black dick overrated? And she said, no, it's not, and the guy was like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, but I heard they walked the date out. No, she actually oh, walked it. They, they, they walked the date out because, like, so many people gave attention to them, and I was like, what are you doing here at Open Mic? <laughs> I suppose it was the first date, and then they got him out. The first date? Is it Open Mic? I don't know. Yeah, the Tinder day. Oh, I've gone Tinder days on the mic. Actually, this is a great segue into a topic I wanted to ask you both about. Um, I didn't even go to my first ever comedy club. I, I love comedy. I always grew up on comedy YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Comedy Central Presents, Netflix. Shit. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not bored. Yeah, it's, it's I got up. I got up. I am. I am. I got up early to do it. I've I've been drinking all. I've been drinking all yesterday. I'm an alcoholic, dude. For two hours, I go. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Alright, we're good. Hey, um, so. I think I'll say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I gotta wrap it all the time up here. Um, but no, I, uh, so the first time I actually stepped a foot in a comedy club was until I went out to Iowa. And it was yeah. literally luck just happened, it was just around the corner from my hotel. So I'm like, oh shit, they have an open mic, it's a free show, comedy club, let me check it out. So I was like, blown away. It's free out there, so. And it's free. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, this is what a comedy club is, this is amazing. And I started like making observations. But one thing I concluded was, dude, this is a great first day thing to do. Like people say movies, people say dinner. Open, dude, open maybe not an open mic, but like, because right. it technically wasn't an open mic, there was a real audience there, but I think a free show, like at the Lantern or. Oh, yeah, for sure. That would be a great first oh, date yeah, idea because, it. first of all, I hate movies as a first date because it's like, hey, uh, you want to stand this way and like not talk for a couple hours? Yeah, I don't go to movies anymore. Fuck movies. Yeah, and yeah, secondly, dinner's too expensive to take like a first date, you may never go anywhere. That's why I always yeah. take always take my first date to a ice. Isis. Ice. Ralph, Ralph's Ice. Ralph's Ice. Ralph's Ice. Ice. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, gonna say Ralph's Isis, but you guys are not. So, actually, they got one in Manhattan. You guys should check it out. Uh, Ralph's, Ralph's Isis. Ralph's Isis. Fucking I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I do. I take my day to the Creek and the Cave. Because hey, there's a bar there and they can drink. Because there's also, well, I guess it is comedians, but it's also, no, no, it doesn't it's feel like an open mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all with the show. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Especially if they like you there. That's like, oh, they're going to let. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, th I, I came to that conclusion because it was like, dude, it would be nice to have the, um, uh, to understand what your humor is with the other person you're on a date on, so yeah. you can get a better sense quickly of what kind of person yeah, like you, go to a show. Who you are. Like you know? go to a show and you can talk good about the comic or talk shit about the comic right after. Yeah. That's, that's pretty fun. <laughs> that's or just to see what you're laughing at, maybe she'll find something yeah, yeah, you exactly. laughed at inappropriate or vice versa. Like, hmm, I don't know if this is the person for me. I don't know, just my thought. That's oh, weird. That's right. I'm very, okay. Jared knows me. I'm kind of a crazy person. Like I date, oh. I date exclusively crazy people. Oh. <laughs> so like that, like gauging someone's crazy. It's like on the first date, I will mention jerk about like eight times. Oh. I just go something hard right when I meet you, and they're like, "This dude's fucking funny." But that's how you weed them out, right? Yeah, I, I don't like normal girls. They freak me out. That's fine. Like, Whatever yeah, you're yeah, into. It. But they see, yeah. this is why I hate when. Uh, Men and women, they hide part of who they are before they go on a date. It's yeah. just like, dude, if you really want this to go somewhere, don't you want to like just come out and be who you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that way everyone knows what they're getting into. Like, why are we duct tape and rope? This is what's gonna happen. Yeah. Exactly. 